We begin this evening with a look uh, at Governor Abbott modifying his executive orders. He's now saying people cannot be put in jail for opening their businesses. The move comes after several Texas business owners were arrested. So with jail off the table, what's to keep others from doing just that? Mike Jimenez has the story. As Texas slowly reopens its economy, some business owners have grown frustrated. Every governor Greg Abbott seems to have recognized that frustration. Like in this case, the, the governor uh, realized that jailing people for trying to put food on their family's table is utterly ridiculous when you're actually releasing other individuals who've been incarcerated for far worse offenses. We asked Hidalgo County Judge Richard Cortez if the change takes away power from local authorities and if he feels the move will have businesses reopening before they should without the threat of jail. Cortez says the county's focus has been on educating the public to protect themselves from the virus and it would be impossible to police Hidalgo County for business violators. I can understand the governor's concerns that there could be varying interpretations of his orders, so I understand his latest actions. At the end of the day, the laws we put in place are intended to protect the public. The county says they have superseded authority of orders to the governor's office and enforcement lies with municipalities. People can get cited, people can get warned. There's certain things, depending on, on the establishment itself, there's some things that you can do uh, for the permits that they have um, without having to arrest people. That's just not the objective of our city for businesses that are trying to survive. McAllen officials say most businesses are following the law even if the end result is hurting them tremendously in fines or a last resort. Attorney Aurelio Garza says he has received many calls from businesses and says he understands people out there just want to make a living. But in these times when we didn't invite uh, this virus, this pandemic, I mean, certainly people are going to do what they need to do in order to stay afloat. This afternoon, Edinburgh held a special council meeting to remove jail as a punishment for their disaster orders, but say businesses may still face a citation. And McAllen with complete Valley coverage, Mike Mena, CBS 4 Valley at 6. And the city of Edinburgh's new city order mandates any fines collected will be used to get supplies for first responders.